Excellent. And why does the Vandergraaff generator make my hair stand on end? Easy. By touching the generator, your body receives a charge, and your hair follicles also get charged. And they repel each other. It's like a giant hair war. Great project, guys. I give it an A. <laughs> and Vaughn, uh, your project is the invisible... It's nothing. It is an excellent nothing. You knew this assignment was worth 10% of your final mark, right? I don't know. I didn't do the assignment. I, uh, I don't get science. Give it a chance, Vaughn. Oh, and this would be the safety goggles, girls. Down. Well, it was going to be a Jacob's Ladder. It was going to be. That's where I came in. Any science geek worth his Bunsen burner can make one of those. So instead, we made a Joe Coverator. Never heard of it. Of course not. We made it up. Josie, Corinne, Joko. Oh, yeah. Is it, uh, safe? Got me. It's supposed to calculate the potential energy stored in your body. Or fry you like an onion ring. Joking. It's safe. Watch. Okay, that's, uh, that's not such a good idea. That's, that's not a good table. It's not you, Josie. It's just, we usually sit over there. Let me spell it out for you. You're just opening the social order. We sit over there, and the Inkrats is over here. You mean, you're not the Inkrats? What have I been doing with you? Fine, go. See if I care. <laughs> Excuse me? What are you doing? Well, at my last school, it was called E. This is our table, science girl. Science girl? Wow. Did you look that one up in a book? Oh, no, wait. That would require you to read. Ooh, this one has an attitude. Not smart, getting on our bad side. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm having trouble finding your good side. You just committed social suicide. <sighs> Whatever. Madison, what are you doing? <laughs> Sorry, it was an accident. My fork just slipped. Are you smiling at me? No, I'm suppressing a laugh. Hey, Dad, what are you doing here? I'll ask you the same thing, Vaughn. I didn't send you to Blake Holsey to play video games instead of going to class. Okay, I get your point. I'll study more. I promise. It's going to take a little more than just a promise, Vaughn. So, I've made arrangements with Principal Durst. You're going to be joining the school's science club. <laughs> You're kidding me, right? I don't kid, Vaughn. Hopefully, this will kickstart some improvement. At the very least, it'll look good on your school record. Did we just see what we just saw? Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> Cooler than cool. It was downright cold. Do you realize what you could do with that power? The possibilities are endless. Teach me how to do it. I can't. I don't even know how to do it. It just sort of happens. Josie, it might be dangerous. Better than that, Marshall. It might be fun. Watch. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> See? Fun. Okay. 
Okay, so what Galileo meant to say, quite simply, was, can I help you, Vaughn? Yeah, I'm uh, here for the science club. Oh, that's right, Principal Durst spoke to me about that. Have a seat. Do you know everyone? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Uh, Miss Goody Goody, Half Pint, uh, Big Brain, and oh yeah, the girl who electrocuted herself earlier. Yeah, well, uh, names are irrelevant in science. I even heard some called Einstein hair boy. <laughs> Have a seat. Hey, watch this. Bodies, the force is the one. Hey! Let's go for it. Josie? Sorry. No, 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 no. Don't be sorry. I mean, be sorry, but. How did you. It just kinda happened. No, oh, a human magnet doesn't just happen. Incredible. Incredible. We have to find out more. Does anyone have any theories? Well, electricity can turn metal into a magnet. Yeah, so why not a human? Wait, wait. What are you all talking about? It's called science. It's what we do here. Wait, the Jacobrator accident. It must have magnetized me. My guess is her own electronic charges were polarized by her internal magnetic forces. I know that there's iron in everyone's system. I just didn't think there was enough to become magnetized. Five words, Professor Z. We're at Black Hole High. Actually, that's, uh, that's six words because we're is a contraction of, of we and our. And since we're on top of a black hole, all the rules of science go out the window. What, what black hole? I thought she said she had a bad cold. Yeah, that's what I said. We'll talk about it later. Vaughn. Uh, excuse me? Human fork holder here? If I'm not important, <laughs> I can just go. No, 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 wait, you can't. We don't know what's going to happen. I mean, hopefully this charge will just drain from you, but until then, it's a, a good opportunity to study you. Great. Just what I always wanted, to be an experiment. Uh, Josie? Uh, yeah? Could you not walk so close to me? My watch is going ballistic. Well, this has been an unexpected pleasure. Now, if you excuse us. I don't know how, but you had something to do with what happened at lunch today. <laughs> Moi? You're gonna be very sorry you ever came to the school. Oh, too late. Already am. Consider this a warning. Don't mess with us. You mean like this? Please tell me you had nothing to do with what happened upstairs. I had nothing to do with what happened upstairs. Well, don't look at me. I wasn't even near the place. I was in my room. Oh, so it's every man for himself, huh? No problem, I'm used to that. Josie. Yeah, yeah, it was me. I can't really explain it, it just kinda happened. One minute I was angry and the next everything went nuts. All right, first things first, are you okay? <laughs> I think the real question is, are you okay? I didn't mean to do that. I thought you said my energy would drain. Well, apparently the polarization of the magnetic charge inside of you has uh, increased. And the faster you become polarized, the more electromagnetic you're becoming. Too bad she can't be grounded like the satellite dish at my house. He's got a good point. Go on. Well. You know, a dish has to be grounded so that if something like lightning hits it, it'll stop the dish from... from frying. 
fine. That's a, that's a great idea, but, I mean, her energy is completely scattered. To work, the charge needs to be directed. Wait, I've got it. It's our Jocoberator. Rewired and repowered, we can create the Hall Effect. Yeah, and if we create a magnetic field around her, then we can channel the energy out of her. All right, science in action. Okay, let's go. We're going to help Josie drain her energy field. Vaughn, find me some conduit. Got it. It's insulated wire, Vaughn. About 50 feet. I need the three of you to go to my office, get the magnetic panels we were using earlier. Hurry. How are you doing, Josie? Great. What more could a girl want than to be able to power an entire city? You know, having all this power was so much fun. I could control everything. Everyone. But now that it controls me, it's not fun anymore. This is probably none of my business uh, whatsoever, but you don't seem to be very happy here at Blake Holsey, and, it, and it's like you don't even want to fit in. I don't. My mom's dumped me at lots of schools. What works best for me is being the outsider. Oh, okay. Okay, I get it, I get it. Why get too close to someone when you're only gonna have to leave anyway? Gotta go with what works. And how has that been working for you, Josie? Great. I'm totally in control. How are you? Hey, wait a minute. This is completely different. The only thing that's the same is that people can't get close to me. Yeah. Not even the people who care about you. Well, well, well. There you are. Principal I don't think this is the right time to... To what? To... Work this up with our words? Oh, yes. It is too late for that. Did you see what she did to the upstairs hallway? It was an accident. No. no. Spilling milk on the rug is an accident. What you did is classified as a tornado. I, I really don't think you should get any closer. I don't know what you're up to, Professor Zachary. But we will be speaking about this later. Come with me, Joseph. Mister, I... Wouldn't do that. What happened? You know when you uh, rub your feet along the carpet and then you touch something, you get a shock? It was kind of like that, only bigger. Much bigger. <clears throat> Miss Trent, my office, now. Gotta trust me on this one. I really can't leave here right now. That's ridiculous. <clears throat> Can't destroy a school hallway without disciplinary repercussions. Miss Durst, there are things going on here which I will explain to you later. Right now, it's important that Josie stay right here. Professor Zachary, I have been at Blake Holsey for 25 years. The last 10 as principal. <laughs> there is nothing I haven't seen or heard. Wanna bet? Can I make a suggestion? No. Okay, but I'm gonna have to report this to my dad, who, if you remember, is the head of the school board of directors. Now, this school could be completely destroyed, all because you didn't listen to Professor Zachary's warning. Destroyed? All right, fine. You've got one hour, but any more damage I'm holding, all of you totally responsible, especially you, Professor Zachary. Vaughn, you're getting to be just like your father. Thanks. I, I didn't do it for you. Fine, then I wasn't thanking you. Okay, Marshall, you and Lucas, start setting up the electromagnetic panels over there. Corinne, start wiring the panels together. Vaughn, I need you to go outside with that wire connected to the metal spigot by the fountain. This should act as a ground to disperse Josie's energy into the earth. 
Wait. Should? Got it. You know what you're doing, right? Yeah. I've just never done it before. Stay there, okay? It's gonna be the only safe place in here. Then just flip the switch. It'll work. Yeah. just be gone. Sure she could. She could have disintegrated. <laughs> Man, not even an ash. Marshall. Hey, I attached the cable. Did it work? Where is she? Bill! I I'm fine. <laughs> really. Uh, y you can touch me. <laughs> Josie, sure you feel okay? Absolutely. No residual effects? No, I'm 100% back to normal. Normal for me, anyway. Good. Then I will expect you to clean up the lab in the upstairs hallway. Now? But I just went through a trauma. Well, can I get some help? We were a club, remember? We're friends. Friends help friends clean up! This is Principal Durst speaking. Yesterday's unfortunate events have been officially attributed to a freak lightning storm. There is nothing wrong at Blake Halsey High. That's just another cover-up. <laughs> huh. Doesn't look like there's a table. There would be if Josie still had the gift. I think I can find us a seat. Mind if I sit down? Looks like she still has the gift. Hey, Dad, wait up. Hey, I saw you from my room. I didn't know you were at the school. I was called here on an emergency meeting of the board. I was going to drop in and see you, but I didn't. Maybe next time. Vaughn, Principal Durst made some reference to you being involved in the chaos in the school yesterday. Is there anything you'd like to tell me about your science club? Uh, no, I, I don't think so. You realize withholding information from me would be a mistake. Um, well, uh, yeah, actually, Dad, uh, there was one thing. Uh, they mentioned something about a black hole. 
Here at school? Black hole. Um, yeah. Excellent. Excellent, Vaughn. Keep up the good work. Maybe this weekend we can have dinner. It's been a while. <laughs>